Hello everyone, Attack Power here with another Division preview for the new Men of Steel DLC for Steel Division 2. Thank you to the Strike Team for sending me these videos so that I could get this information out to you guys. Remember, all of this is a work in progress, so things may change before release, availability, stats, all that stuff is still up in the air. But this will be coming out soon, I hope. I don't have any definite dates, but it should be soon on the horizon. But let's dive right in here. And if you guys enjoy this, hit that like button, subscribe, and consider checking out that Patreon down below into the 715th Infantry. I'm not going to lie. Uh, if I remember correctly, in the previews, this is the one I am most excited for, I think. Uh, it looks like it's the strongest one for the Axis. Although the uh, Tatao, Tatao one we just did, that one seems pretty good as well. So let's check out the tabs really quick here. A nice... A pretty generous recon tab here with a lot of ones and two slots gets all the way up to six. That's really nice. Infantry slots fully filled out with 10 of those. Only the last two at two and three. So very aggressively costed. You should be able to get a big infantry tab loaded up here for yourself. Tank tab, nice average five tank slots. It doesn't look like you're terribly short on tanks. A not terrible priced either. One, one, two, three. One 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 two three is pretty good. Your support tab is a little more a little more costly, but you still get a good number of slots. You're all the way up to twos, uh, so six really reasonable ones and two threes at the end. Your AT tab is pretty big as well, with seven slots, with the last two being three, so a little more expensive. But A tab looking a little limited, but truthfully, you only need two two to three really good cards of, of AA. So if it's good units, this is plenty. If it's bad, yeah, it's going to be bad. Um, your RD tab pretty big, eight slots there. You know, only the last two, three points, so pretty good there. Air tab, you know, six tab, that was pretty average. Not anything too crushing. So tab-wise, division looks solid. Again, it really comes down to then what's in these slots. So here we go. Motorcycle, they're garbage unless you really want radio. Say it every single time. Off Claire, off Claire, great. Let's see if there's any good transports. There is not, so no good transports there. SBW204, we see these in 350 seconds. So nice little uh 15 point. Recon car. It does have only AP, which kind of sucks, but for 15 points, hard to complain. Honestly, for 15 points, it is hard to complain. Ooh, this is the same one we saw in the Italian division, fourth Volshimager, the 20 mil on the car. These are phenomenal. They have radio. You get three in A phase. They're vet locked and locked to A, which whatever, that's probably when you bring the most of the time anyway. These are excellent. These are very, very good. Oh, you get a Panzer II with the auto cannon. These guys are phenomenal as well. Also in fourth fall, Shmir, I think one other division. Oh, they're very good. Okay, new unit here. Decima Esploratori. Ooh. Phase lock to BNC. We have eight Berettas and a grenade. Ooh. That's one deadly. And you get two of them. Ooh. Ooh. This recon tab is spicy hot. Fusiliers, whatever. Fusiliers are fine. They're they're basically a grenadier squad. But, um, but these this this little patch of units right here, you you take both of these in B and C probably. Take this in A. Take this in A. Uh, what is that? Four. You can do one more realistically. Either take the SPW or just off clear, so you have more infantry recon, or you could take a fusilier for more infantry recon. Whatever. But yeah, then no, this is a great this is a great recon tab. All right, now we have. Oh, I thought it was five points. It's five. You get five cards of Grenadiers. Grenadier 15W. So it's a disheartened Grenadier squad. That's what it is. You get higher availability, though, with 12. You get five of them. So obviously, you're probably going to fill at least a little bit of your division with a couple of these, I'd think. But maybe not. I mean, there's a lot of Italians here, and Italian infantry are pretty monstrous. The vet curve is great, though. 12-24-32 uh, is really nice. These units are obviously not good. They're really... I mean, they're better than, like, an Urzat squad, for sure, but they're also five points more, so... Uh, Pioneer Fear. Okay, cool. Nice to have them. 20-point leader. Wonderful. Decima. Whoa! Hello there. B phase locked, 18 availability at no vent, seven Berettas, an MG42, and an anti-tank grenade. Boom, that's a unit right there. 25 points. It's, a, it's, it's expensive for eight men, but it's also commando, which means it's got all kinds of boosted stats and stuff. This thing should shred. The MG42 is almost probably bad, actually. It's one of those units you don't want to fight at long range at all. You want them using the seven Berettas, so... I actually am not, a, I would love for this to be 20 points, no MG42. That would make it really, really strong. But obviously, I don't think we want to be dealing with that. 
But good unit all oh, comes in the terrible transport. That sucks. Dechima Aditi here. So this one has two Berettas and six Berettas with a Panzerfaust. Still 25 point, little less availability because you're vet locking, but still a very good unit. You probably take it. I would highly doubt you don't take this unit because it is still quite strong. Those six Breda is going to put out lots of damage. The two Bredas are kind of terrible, but it's still two machine guns. Leader. Okay, it's a very boring leader. It's not exciting at all. I wouldn't, uh, I don't even think I'd take that. Grenfell, you get six. This one, you get four. So, yeah, I would not take that leader. We have a Luftwaffe Jaeger. I'm assuming it's Luftwaffe Jaeger. It looks, it looks like Luftwaffe uniforms. Luftwaffe Jaeger ZBV. So we have four MP40s, seven, 10 SVTs, MG34, and an AT rifle, and Fanatical. 15-man squad at 25 points. A phase, uh, no vet locked. A and B phase, so 612. It's a pretty good unit. It's going to put out some good damage with the automatic rifles, semi-automatic rifles. I mean, you're definitely taking it. There's no doubt about that. Pioneer, I think 15W means old. I think these are older dudes. Yeah, look, you can kind of tell by their faces. I think they're a little older. Um, it's a Pioneer squad with Disheartened, but you get higher availability. Not phenomenal. You'll def you're definitely going to take it, but it, I, it's not a unit that's actually like super exciting or good. It's going to probably feel really bad when you use it. Because uh, disheartened troops at CQC are not good. Because they build suppression so fast, they surrender really quickly. Uh, so it's not great. Uh, yeah, availability is good, good. The little uptick in availability is definitely nice. I can't deny that. So, solid unit. Pandagrand Fear with cool skin. New skin on their little picture there. That's cool. Panzergrenadier 41. Okay, so... It's a Pentagrenadier MG34. I'm trying to see if there's a difference here. Normal Panzerfaust. I'm not seeing a difference. I'm not seeing any difference. Oh, it's 12 men. It's bigger. That's what it is. It's a bigger squad. I mean, that's always nice. No, no complaints. It's it's not a bad thing. Um, it's better because it's bigger. Bigger is better in this game. That's absolutely true. Um, so yeah, I mean, this is just a straight upgrade on your normal Panzergrens. MG34 pant. Now remember, it's Panzergren MG34, not Panzergren MG42. Uh, this is also the bigger size and it has a Panzerbusch. These are awful. These, these are the worst AT guns in the game. Uh, it only does one damage. I don't even think it kills a transport in one shot. Um, it's really, really bad. It has like barely any penetration. So don't, this is basically uh, just, just treat it as an MG 34 Panzergren squad. Cause it, it's not going to kill an, uh, an armored vehicle ever. Uh, it's going to make you so sad. You're going to feel like this can do something and it, it absolutely cannot, but pretty solid. I mean, with those Italian infantry, good infantry tab Panzer P 40 here. This is a great super cost efficient medium tank from the Italians. Uh, yeah, I mean, it is. We've seen it before. It's a good unit for 45 points. A phase lock, though. Getting okay by availability. Not too bad. Stug 3. Looks like all the Stug 3s are getting the tank rider thing. You can bring it in any, any phase, so that's great. Stug 3 leader, phase lock to A. Ooh, you get Tigers. Okay. Veterancy lock to one vet, but truthfully, you're probably bringing the Tiger in one vet all the time anyway. I would not bring a Tiger in at less than one vet. They just don't shoot fast enough. They don't aim well. They don't hit often enough. You really need veterancy on those Tigers. So, I mean, overall, you get Tiger leader here, which you'll bring an A because why would you not? Why would you bring the regular Tiger over the Commander Tiger? So that's a great tank tab. I mean, it's real. I mean, you don't have a lot of medium tanks. It's not like phenomenal, but it's a, for what this division is. It's a very good tank. It's probably the best tank tab in uh, this whole DLC, honestly. <laughs> so far, so far, the only one that's even close is the Bulgarian one, but like that's this is probably the best tank tag in the whole DLC. 50 mil mortar, short range, not good. 50 mil mortar, a 45 mil mortar, not great. Oh, you get the Borg Ward. You get the big boomy. Oh, it's a real thing again. It's back, everybody. Weird motorcycle there. This I don't know how this is. This thing will literally erase anything within a little circle that it blows up in. It's pretty hilarious. 
if you actually can make this thing work. It's pretty fun. I'm not saying it's a really meta unit. It is not. It's bad. But it can be really fun. MG34 with a new card here. Uh, Dishearten, which means you get increased availability? Or is it just decreased price? It looks like just decreased price. That's still decreased price. I mean, it's nothing to complain about. 25 points for MG34. Quite good. Quite good. Yeah. Okay. Nothing, nothing wrong there. IG-18. Your standard IG-18. Nice to have it. Sad to not have it, so nice to see it there. You missed the OBJ. That's fine. It's just another, like, IG-18-esque assault gun. MG-42. Regular MG-42 there. Ammo. Okay. Whatever. More ammo. Cool. Oh, hello there. This just got good. IG-33. AB phase. Wonderful. 2K HE is your best friend. Sturmpanzer IV. Okay. Okay. We got some real 2K going on here. Hello there. So phenomenal support tab. Absolutely phenomenal support tab here. Uh, AT, Panda Shrek, cool. Normal one, nothing special. Doing your usual thing. 47 mil Breda gun, awesome, but only B phase. Loses a lot of utility because these are really annoying at the beginning of the game. Shoot down some uh, transports, but... I'd still probably try to squeeze them in. These things overperform so immensely. For 30 points, these are absolutely disgusting. Uh, yeah, one of the best AT guns in the game, I think. Martyr 3. Martyr 3s are phenomenal for their cost, 35 points. Pack 38, one of my best, my favorite AT guns in the whole game. Pack 40 is a Pack 40. They're awesome. And what do I see here? A freaking elephant? Because let's do it. Yeah, this I can see why this division was the one I was most excited about in the DLC. Um, I mean, they're not like amazing in 1v1, but having them is really nice. Like having the option. I'd probably bring one card in B phase. You get two of them. If you lose two elephants, you probably aren't winning the game anyway. That's kind of on you. Uh, how do you build this? Panzer Shrek, Breda, Pack 38, Martyr 3, Pack 40, Pack 40 Elephant, if you want the full thing. <laughs> you probably don't. You probably cut maybe the... Honestly, probably just the Bredas, as much sad as that makes you. Cut the Bredas, do the two cards of Pack 40s, and then your Elephant, your one card of Elephant. Yeah, I mean, that's a phenomenal AT tab. I, yeah. Hey, will it be the downfall? Doesn't look like it. Flak 38s are terrible, but you get Flak 36s, which are fine, and SDK of Zeds. They're A phase lock, which sucks, but... Um, that's a serviceable AA tab. It's not like unusable. So yeah, that looked like it was going to be the biggest weakness of the deck. And it kind of is, but it's serviceable. Like it, it, it can get by. If it was 20 mils only, I would have said it's trash, but it's not. Battery fear, bail boxer, nothing special there. Sorry. Itchy eye. 81 mortar, the usual, but you get, you get the obiches, you get the weird Italian artillery that's actually really good because it's cheap and fires relative pretty fast and is, it has radio. B phase lock, that kind of sucks, but very good. 105, same idea here. Another Italian artillery piece. I don't think we've seen these before, actually. This might be very good. Six rounds a minute. Does have some AT heat because why not? Okay. For 70 points, all right. All right, all right, all right. 120 mil mortar. Usual thing. 122 mil captured Soviet gun. Okay. These are good RD pieces. They're overall, they're very solid RD pieces. Nothing wrong with that. Nice to have them. Ooh, the 149. The uh, Italian, I think Italian. I, Italian. I believe it's I, Italian. So Italian captured guns, it would appear. Pretty big booms. Nothing super special in terms of like big RD gun, but still nice to have it there. And then you get the weird SDKZ 135, 150 millimeter. Whoa, five rounds a minute. That's really good for a 150 millimeter artillery piece. It's expensive, self-propelled. It's got 36 shells though, so it goes a good bit. This is a good arty piece. I mean, great for counter battery. Fires quick, can move. This might be one of the best counter battery pieces in the game, honestly. Whoa, big Bertha here. Moser 220. Three rounds a minute with a very big boom at 130 points. Uh, yes, please sign me up. Looks really fun. 
I'm a sucker for gigantic artillery pieces. I don't even use them that often, but I just something about them is really fun. And then the Air Force. Wow, you got lots of air too here. Crappy Ju88. Lots of guns, but not good. This is not good. Uh, Ju88 recon. This is good. Pretty fast. Very good resilience. That's a good recon plane. 60 points is a little expensive, but usable. BF109. All right. Double vet lock. Not great. Spavietto. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Cluster HE going on here. This might actually be really good. I don't know. Because that's a lot of cluster HE bombs. And cluster HE is actually really good against units in buildings specifically. This might be good. It depends on how good that cluster HE actually is. If that's if cluster HE is good here, then this thing is nuts. Baka Wolf G3R5. It's got the bad resilience, which is unfortunate. It's pretty quick. Bomb loadout is good, but this will get shot down. It's 110 points, which is rough. That is rough. Baka Wolf A6, which is unfortunately the junkier one. It's got good loadout, bad resilience, solid speed. Uh, definitely better than a BF109 G6 in terms of fighter ability. I would take this any day over that. But unfortunately, still not the A8 we all want it to be. Uh, a little bit too easy to shoot down. Spavietto with normal bomb loadout. Don't love it. Wouldn't take it. Uh, yeah, no, probably not. It's probably too spread out. DO217 with some bigger bombs. This might be worth taking, but it is very expensive for eight 250s. Um, I would prefer two 1,000 kilograms over eight 250s. So this division... This division is a spicy meatball. This is this is a division I could see shooting to the top of the rank ladder to of the competitive scene. I could 100% see that. Um, this thing has all the tools you want, great recon cars and everything, a really solid infantry tab. Um, it's not a phenomenal infantry tab. Like, I mean, it, maybe it is. Maybe all the Berettas just make this division fantastic. Yeah, it probably does. I'm not going to lie. All the Berettas probably make this infantry tab phenomenal. Uh, your tank tab is really well-rounded. Uh, there's nothing much to complain about it. The support tab is phenomenal. Your AT tab, phenomenal. Your AA tab is serviceable and will not lose you any games if you're smart with it. Your RD tab has a lot of good options. And your air tab also does not disappoint. This division, really good. I'm putting this one as the top division of this, of this DLC. That is my guess. That is my stab in the dark. This is A tier right here, maybe even S, if it is as nuts as it looks on paper. If you guys enjoyed that, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and consider supporting over on Patreon. Thanks a bunch. Have a fantastic day.